Hi folks, welcome to the session. In this session, we would be discussing a very important probabilistic kind of sampling that is systematic random sampling. So in this session, what we are going to discuss is what is the basic definition of systematic random sampling? Plus, we would also be demonstrating how to create a systematic random sample using a sample data set. I will demonstrate the same using Microsoft Excel. So let's get started and see how, what it is and how it's done. The learning outcome is by the end of this session, students will be able to use MS Excel tools to create systematic random samples. Now, by definition, I would say systematic sampling is a type of probability sampling method in which the sample members from a larger population are selected according to a random starting point but with a fixed periodic interval. For instance, let us say if I want to sample or if I want to conduct a survey of uh, various people visiting a mall, so the starting point could be any random visitor, number one, and then I can keep a common interval for the next survey to be conducted. That is to say, for instance, if I keep the interval to be five, so if I intercepted the first respondent, okay, my first respondent was, let us say two, the second customer visiting the mall, then if I keep a sample interval of five, so the next respondent would be seven, subsequent would be seven plus five, that's 12 and so on. So what is important over here is there's a random starting point and number two, you have a fixed interval, okay? So these two important things need to be kept in mind. So this interval is called the sampling interval, which can be denoted by the alphabet K and is calculated by dividing the population size that is the n divided by small n. So this could be the mathematical formula k equals larger n that's denoting the population and the small n that's denoting the sample size. Perfect. So visually this could be represented by this picture you can see. Okay. I have a problem right now which I would like to discuss and demonstrate. So we have a data set of 9,463 movies. Now in that data set, I have various other details about those movies in the form of like name, date, release, overview, votes, the popularity index and so on. Now a team of researchers wish to study the popularity of movies over a period of time from their release date or from the date of their release. Now they wish to work on a sample of 500 movies only and they have decided to use the systematic sampling technique because probably of the ease of use. Okay. Now they have approached you because probably they believe you are a research expert and you have been approached to help the team of researchers in creating a sample. So you have to, the simple thing, the crux of the entire thing is I have a population of 9463 that is 9463 and over here I have to extract a sample of 500 using systematic sampling technique. So this is the agenda of the entire problem. So in the next part of this session I would take you to the data set and we would work out the same problem in Excel. Right. So this is the data set we have in this. I have the IDs for the movie, the title of the movie, the release date, popularity, the vote average and the vote count. Fine. So this is all the information which is provided to me, but I'm not interested in this entire information. What I'm interested is I have to pick up only 500 movies from this entire data set, right? So the population size is 9,463. So which is provided to us and then the sample needed to be extracted is 500. So first and foremost, let us calculate our K, right? So the K is your population divided by your sample size. So using this Excel formula, we would use the function equals 
the population divided by the required sample fine so this is my k now i want to randomize the entire thing so i would create a column for random values okay so i would start with generating some random numbers in order to randomize okay and there should be no scope for any bias so i would start with random okay that is the rand function so i would insert the rand function over here so equals r a n d so you can just see over here and then once i enter so some random number between 0 and 1 is generated i would drag it down so all the rows would have some random number associated with them fine now what is the next thing that i would like to do is i would do a sorting okay in order to in, again remove any kind of element of bias i would sort this column i simply go to my home and i apply sort which can be a ascending order sorting or a descending order sorting whichever you wish right so i would like to sort it so the entire thing is sorted now once you have sorted it i don't want this random numbers to be changing okay so what i would do is i would freeze these random numbers so the basic step which i would perform over here is copy them that is control c once the cell is selected copy it fine and then i would do a special paste right click on the first cell and in the paste options i have the values okay i would paste the values so now the random numbers won't change fine so this column is just inserted for the purpose of randomizing things okay fine because i need to shuffle my data based on some random numbers because i want this to be depending on chance okay it has to be probabilistic so for that reason i inserted the random numbers and shuffled them now the next most important thing is now i have to create the logic behind which i can generate a system okay the system with which i could probably hear when i have this k as 18 i would make it 18.9 so i would round it off to 19 okay so i want to pick every 19th element okay every 19th element in my sample perfect so for this case now i have to create a logic to select every 19th element okay so let us start so i would give a sequence starting with 1 Okay I would start a sequence at 1 and in the second cell I would apply the function mod Okay so once I apply this function mod open parenthesis the number the number is 1 Okay and what is the divisor the next divisor I would take it as 19 because my k is 18.92. I am rounding it off to 19, so I have taken it as 19. Okay, so sequentially, whatever number comes, it has to be increasing by one. So if I add plus one, so now you would see that in this cell I would get the value two. Now from here, if I drag it down, boom. now you can see a magic happening now you could see that in this cell i have 19 and again the same sequence appears 1 up till 19 so every 19th element okay i have highlighted it with green using conditional formatting i can remove the conditional formatting and i would just show you now i'm clearing all the rules so you would see that all these are the numbers which i've generated so for systematic sampling i have to pick every 19th element okay 
So because my sampling interval is 19, so I have to pick every 19th one. Got the logic? So if I wish to highlight all the 19th ones, I have multiple things which I can do. Okay. So first thing I can simply apply a filter. I can apply a filter and uh, I can select only 19. Okay. Now here, if I'm applying a filter only on 19, all your 19 elements would be selected and this becomes your sample. So this is your systematic random sample. The other way of doing is rather than applying any filter, you can apply conditional formatting and highlight those cells. For instance, I would just apply a conditional formatting for you. So this is a new rule or a, let us say I would like to highlight cells which are equal to I would say 19 and uh, whatever color or formatting you wish to give. I wish to give green fill with dark green text. I would say OK and then it didn't happen. I'll do it again. I think I missed out on selecting the so I'm highlighting a cell rule so equal to 19 I would say 19 fill it with green I would say okay now you can see all my 19s are highlighted with green okay so this way you can again have your sample you can identify your sample okay so in your research the movie could be becoming Jane then following and so on right so you can study these movies the mirrors so these are the movies which the researchers would be conducting their study on fine so this is the way how we use excel to create a systematic random sampling fine so hope you found this useful interesting do like, share and subscribe, spread the good word and stay safe. Thank you.